Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales from the Void. My name is Bevy and uh, today we're supposed to appoint ourselves to a new mission, I suppose. Um, we have ample air at the moment, but we don't have as much food as we had before, so we probably should focus a little bit on that and take that into consideration before we go and select uh, a mission. Still don't know what, what it does. I think it counts as food. I don't know. Uh, scavenge mission. I actually want to go on a scavenge mission because I think we, we may have enough food in there. We don't have as much uh, crew members, but I mean, uh, the I less sense that Mr. Edwards the less members we have, the less feed we've got to feed. The less feed we've got to feed. The less, the less, the less mouths we've got to feed. Damn it! My God. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. You can prepare and equip your marines. Uh, yeah. Those bridges seem fragile. Carry light weapons and equipment. We're going to do that. We're going to go and send three scouts, as we did before. Uh, we've got a rusty mouse over here. And I'm not going to use the rusty flag. I mean, distract enemies while positioning your marines. Very slow reload time. Medium range. Equip with scout or... I've got to be frank, I think it's probably better to take a smoke grenade. Screens varying from hostiles, short reload time, equipped by scout or engineer. I think that's probably... maybe a sticky grenade. That sounds very nice. Small handled bomb with a sticky surface may clear the blast area. Medium explosive force, medium reload time, short range, equipped by scout or engineer, manual fire. Okay, I think I, think I like that a lot more than the... Um, than the, uh, the, than the regular grenades. They are a bit tedious to use. Okay, are we going to use the uh, vitamin? Head. Uh, dirty monocle. Slightly improves weapon accuracy. Mm, I want to use it on someone. I'm going to use it on Fuller. I know he's got the uh, all, uh, all blast suit. What does it actually say? L blast suit? I don't know. So we're going to give it to King naturally then. We don't really have uh, <laughs> any more choice, do we? Uh, but yeah, we're going to go in like this. Let's go and start the mission. Get ourselves some equipment or die trying. Today, you are going on a treasure hunt. Find the treasure I get it. The Good morning. Then head to the extraction point. Good evening. Yeah. We don't know. We have no clue. Can I zoom out, please? And take a little look before I do anything. I see our first adversary over there. We're just going to go... Oh, this way. I see some nice stuffies li lying there. I see a lot of stuff, actually. But we're going to have a problem, obviously. We're, we're not going to be able to go back once we go there. I want to get that, though. Oh, it actually has equipment in it, I think. Is that an, a helmet or a fish? <laughs> I don't know. It seems, it seems the same every time. I don't actually have to use that. We've got the pressurized feet soles. Okay, we've located a box. Shoot down the resource so you can pick them up. Then head to the extraction point. Okay, I'm not sure how we're going to... How we're going to do that. How, how the hell are we going to pull that off? I think... Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get there with the pressurized feet... Otherwise, we could... Uh, oh, yeah, you can use the plants, obviously. Wow. Didn't even think of that. Again. Well done. Oh, well done. You found an equipment stash. All right. Let's see a jellyfish over there. Where was the equipment again? I don't... I don't recall, damn it. Oh, we got another jellyfish over there, but it seems to me like that's not an area I was supposed to go. I don't know. I'm going to go back for as far as that's possible, of course. I said, use your pressurized feet. Wow. Oh, we can we can go there. It's not going to be a problem. Alright, we can go back. That's good. That's cool. Like I said before, oh, I see some stuff lying there as well. And there. Right, let me guess. We're going to have to choose between the goodies we get. 
There is movement ahead. Right, we have an enemy, so I don't think we can pick this up. But that would that's a pity. Oh wow. Oh, we could actually tactically use this, of course. I'll take care of it. Uh, step back, please. It is sticky. It does stick. It does actually stick. That's very nice. I mean, that's the whole damn point of a sticky grenade, right? You'd think, at least. Enemy near. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's get the hell out of there, please. I cannot believe this! Ah, no boosts! There is, movement is he dead? There. He should be. Wow, he's not dead yet. I've got great accuracy. Oh my god. How many shots you're gonna need? I mean, we could always throw another grenade. He's gonna be dead like that, but. Let's just use a grenade then. Come closer. I don't know, just get this over with. Will ya? And he is definitely looking to get us, I think. It seems at least to be the case. Ah, let's just engage, engage him. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We can always call in. If we need help. Ah, this is so annoying when I click on the mouse wheel. Uh, Alright, let's throw that sticky grenade. Hope it sticks. I mean, that is the whole point of it, but it seems to go over his head. Quite literally. Although, it seems to be... Going in the same general direction. Who knows? He might be hit by the blast radius and he is. But we'll let him regenerate, I I think. I'm actually fine with that. I'm I'm I don't really need a grade A. I mean it's always nice to have it, but it's not really priority. We have the, we have a lot of equipment and I think we can only take so much uh after each mission, so oh, we're good. I don't know what that is, though. We saw that before. Is it sticking? Okay, it seemed more je dangerous than the jellyfish, but it seems... Now, out of the fact, obviously, that this octopus is um, a lot weaker than the uh, jellyfish, which is weird, because in real life it's obviously the other way around. Well, then, Edwards for me, uh, for listen listening to him. However, undeniably, the treasure dream. Oh, that is a baddie. I was about to say, I thought that was a helmet. Then, to be fair, I think all things are helmets. I even think fish look like helmets. Oh, my God, that tech was not over yet? Let's get up there. Throw a sticky. Wow, he's, uh, he's a tough one to take down. Let's go and move aside then, shall we? And get up there again. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. Let's just use some grenades. Looks like an eggplant, to be, uh, to be entirely frank. Or an aubergine. Whatever you prefer, I guess. Right, let's throw another grenade. Now yeah, that's that. Oh! Don't want to get that close on me. Close to me. Oh, we got a nice little gun, it seems, over here. And we got a nice... We got another baddie over there. With more goodies. Baddies and goodies, eh? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that we want these guys anywhere near us. <laughs> because they're, they're fast. They don't do a lot of damage. So, my guess was, once they get close, they probably do damage. And I'm always right, it turned out, which is not nice. But hey. 
Sometimes it's not the best thing to be right. There is movement ahead. Are you kidding me? Was that the mission? Ha! I used one guy. There is no explaining it. Every mark on Mr. Edwards map yielded a treasure. On the stero uh, on the steroids. That's not a good thing. I mean, I guess you're pumped to get that stuff, but jeez. I do not believe in fate, but this surely is a coincidence. My men managed to gather some resources, and tonight we'll feast like pirates. Well, that's a good thing. We've got grade A. Uh, we can choose between a few things. Now, this rocket launcher is a lot better than one we have, so this might be worthwhile, actually. I mean, um, the other one is rusty, to be fair. I use it, but I don't like it too much. But I might want to use this one. Fires a, a rocket-propelled projectile, highly explosive force and large blast radius, long reload time, medium range, equipped by gunner, manual fire only. All right. And we're going to go with the uh, Al Anatsia Nullifier. Custom-made boots with a magnet-like anchor, giving the Marine the ability to route himself to a, particularly sp a particular spot temporarily. Fast re Oh, that's actually really nice. That way we can stick to the ground, like it said there. And we won't be pushed around. Which saves me a lot of pausing. <sighs> Alright, but that's good. That's good. I ordered all engines on to restore some familiarity in this strange situation. Yeah, thank you for reading that. But we've got a choice to make. Mr. Clack wakes me up and I can see the fear in his eyes. I'm still groggy from a poor night's sleep. Oh, wait, that was one sentence, eh? <laughs> but follow him to the window. He is shouting about the submarine being under attack by, spare, sp by spears. Wow, what? How? I find myself laughing and tell him not to be silly. When I look out of the window, I see a ton of spear-shaped spear formations heading towards us, and I panic as well. We bump into Mr. Drago's love outside my cabin, and he watches us with, us with amusement. Mr. Clack explains the situation to him, and then it is Mr. Drago's love's turn to laugh. He says they are frozen garfish. Right, tell Mr. Drago's love, of course I know they are... Okay, we lose air. What? Send men and try to catch them. Tell Mr. Drago's love that he is wrong, and move the submarine away from the barrage. Lose two air. Right, so we lose either one or two. All right, I, I guess you, you risk losing crew members, so we're going to go with that anyway, I guess. That's fine. We lost Galloway. I hope he didn't have uh, too many things equipped that we need. The man managed to catch quite a few of the fish. They still look, look a lot like spears to me. Our chef cooks us up a feast and serves us all boiled garfish. I started cutting into mine and green tinted fish bones. Uh, peek out of the flesh. I warn everyone to stop eating. The fish must be poisonous. One marine had already started to swallow a, sh swallow a piece of fish. But when he hears that it might be poisonous, he tries to spit it out. Sadly, the piece of fish gets stuck on the way out and chokes him. He passes He pass away. I think it's supposed to mean he would say he passed away? I don't know. Then and there. I later learn that the fish was indeed safe to eat. That's that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> you learn something new every day. All right, well, we did learn something new every day. Galloway, um, however, his fate is a little bit more poor than ours. But I'm going to leave it with that, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good one. Cheers.